it's a broken old bed again, meaning Dr. Ash and Ripoff time. Now, probably wouldn't do this card and again, but something came up and I thought I should show it. And don't worry, this time I have done better, I have made myself a script. I think I might need a bit more help in this in the future. Anyway, probably noticed from the title, we're going to have a look at the reboot figures of Glitch Bob and Matrix. That's grown up Enzo for anybody else who knows about it. So, I came across these by going through a local, well, junk shop is the only real way of saying it, and they'd been there for quite a while, and I finally decided, you know what, I'm going to pick these up. And I did. And I'm quite happy with them, personally. But let's have a look. First of all, let's look at Glitch Bob. As you can see, the detail on him, well, as you would see if it wasn't such a terrible camera, the detail on him is quite nice. The detail goes all the way down. He's back. He's even got the long punk style hair. Now, it comes with the base. It is not attached to the base. You can lift it off, as seen here. However, there is a reason you probably won't want to do that. But I shall bring that up in a minute. Now, look at the ends over here. Slightly more bulky, with not nearly as much detail. But it's still a quite nice figure. It has a removable gun. I've got to say, I don't quite remember him using this, but then it's been a while since I actually watched Reboot. Not since I was a kid, actually. But yeah, it's still pretty good. Quite nice, quite big, and very displayable. Because it is mostly a display piece. But, you can take them off the bases, as I mentioned before. Which would mean you'd think you could use them as action figures. Or the such like. Well, no, you cannot. First of all, they are pretty big. You can see they are quite large and bulky. And, before I show this, I must mention one thing. This is the box. On the back of said box, it says, Fully Articulated. Fully Articulated. Remember that. Fully Articulated. Now, let us take a look at Bob. Let us have a look at his full articulation. Let us move his... Uh, oh, we can't do that. Okay. Not the head. Let's try the... But no, no waist articulation. Let's... Uh, the, no. No. no let the, um, oh. That's it. Arm. Mm, arm. I'm sorry, but I do not quite understand how full articulation can be seen as being two swivelling arms. Articulation, yes. Full articulation, no. But wait, Enzo, or Matrix, whichever, is better. What does he have? He has the swivelling arms and his head moved. And if you try it very carefully, his butt waist does jerk around a little bit. Sorry, if you're going to put on the box that it's fully articulated, you need to actually have a figure that is fully articulated. Something like this, however nice it looks, is not fully articulated. But, I've got to say, as an old fan of the series, they are nice to have. I picked them up for quite cheap as well, and they're pretty good. Good for display, quite big, so you get a lot for your money. And especially with the bob, there is a lot of detail in there. All of the intricacies of the suit design are all put out there. And it is really good. You even have the decals on his face, the silver markings from when he was in this mode. It is really quite good. And I would say they are worth the money if you can find them. Just be aware that they are very limited to the amount of poses you can do. You can have standing up bob, punching bob, cheering bob, and um, green lantern bob. Yeah. So anyway. What do I think about these? They are really quite impressive. And if you have, like me, fond memories of the old reboot, 
they are definitely worth picking up because they do look amazingly good and they will fit right in in any collection quite big and bulky but then that's how we like them so anyway that's the end of this very short review and i hope to see you all again with my next video that hopefully won't be so much ashen ripoff we hope catch you later